The iPhone 7 Plus hardly needs an introduction. Apple's latest always get the attention no. Matter how much or how little the company has changed. An aura of controversy has always been part of Apple's marketing and some might argue that the polarized opinions actually work in their favor. And the iPhone 7 Duo tops the polarizing scale this season. Thanks to ditching the standard audio jack and the iconic hardware key. It seems this doesn't get in the way of the iPhone providing superb performance and superb user experience for yet another year in a row. We've already brought you the iPhone 7 review, and now it's time for its bigger sibling. The iPhone 7 Plus retail box contains the standard accessories, a wall, plug, a lightning cable, and Apple's earpods ending on the lightning connector. The supply charger is 5 volts slash 1 AA which is a pity as the phone is capable of charging twice as fast with a third party 5 volts slash 2 A charger. For the first time in an iPhone there is a fourth thingy in the box. A lighting to 3.5 mm analog adapter. Using one is not as convenient, it was a mandatory addition so the users can use headphones of their choice. Hopefully, you didn't expect Apple to pack the new wireless AirPods. Those are sold separately for $159. On the outside, little has changed since the first Plus model, the iPhone 6 Plus. The 6 Plus, 6s Plus, and 7 Plus all share a similar footprint at 158.2 x 77.9 x 7.3 mm though they weigh differently. The 6 Plus is the lightest at 172 grams, the new aluminum alloy, and 3D touch tech added 20 grams up to 192 grams too. The 6s Plus, while the new iPhone 7 Plus has shed some weight down to 188 grams. The display on the iPhone 7 Plus still has the same specs in terms of size and resolution, a 5.5 inches unit width. A 1080p resolution, that's 401 pit. It's a LED backlit IPS LCD screen with RGB matrix. Though the panel has been updated since the 6S Plus. Naturally, it is also 3D touch enabled. A technology we first saw on the iPhone 6s. The new Retina display is 25% brighter and conforms to an even wider color gamut, cinema standard, though few users will notice a change. Those are the upgrades over the already excellent screen that the iPhone 6s Plus had. The iPhone 7 Plus is equipped with a non removable Lipo 2900 mA battery, which is about 5.5% beefier than the one of the iPhone 6s Plus, and about the same as on the iPhone 6 Plus. There is also the new energy-efficient Apple A10 Fusion chip, which combined with the new battery and optimized iOS 10, should offer a longer battery life than before. The Apple iPhone 7 Plus comes with a bunch of wireless connectivity features. It supports Faster LTE CAT. 9, up to 450 Mbps down, 150 Mbps up, and has one of the widest LTE band coverage we've seen. Regular 2G and 3G connectivity is all safely covered as well with a multitude of supported network bands. The iPhone 7 Plus also supports the latest voice over LTE. The LTE, HD voice and Wi-Fi calling protocols, but those are carrier-dependent features so not everyone will get to enjoy them. Naturally, the latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth standards are dully covered. There is also support for NFC, but its functionality is only limited to Apple's region-restricted Apple Pay system. Apple has equipped the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus with a new generation 810 Fusion chip. It has a quad-core CPU, a first for the 
iPhones, with two high-performance cores running at 2.34 GHz and two power-saving ones. The high-performance ones run about 40% faster than the A9 chip and two times faster than the A8. There's a new GPU inside as well. It's a 6-core one and is 50% faster than the A9's. GPU and draws just 66% of the power. Finally, the iPhone 7 Plus uses 3 GB of RAM, while the smaller iPhone 7 comes with 2 GB. The iPhone 7 Plus runs on a 1080p resolution, which gives it an advantage over the flagship competition running at 1440p. The sub 1080p iPhone 7 on the other hand reaches the 60 fps refresh rate cap on both tests. Apple completely revamped the imaging abilities on the new iPhone 7 Plus. Like its smaller counterpart the Plus shares the updated 12MP sensor that is reportedly 60% faster and 30% more efficient. The brighter f 1.8 aperture that should let 50% more light, the new 6 element lens as well as Optical image stabilization. Apple reserved its best innovation for the Plus model. On the back, next to the standard 12MP camera sits a new 12MP sensor with a whole new telephoto lens which Apple aims at portrait shooters. Effectively, it's a 56mm f 2.8 lens, which is twice as narrow in terms of field of view and about 1 and 1 third stops slower compared to the 28mm f 1.8 main lens. This means that the main camera lets in about 2.3x more light than the telephoto one and this is of great importance when it comes to low light. Photography. There are camera improvements around the front as well with a new 7MP FaceTime HD camera, a healthy bump from the 5MP of old. The selfie snapper is aided by Apple's excellent retina flash as they call it, it flashes the screen to serve as an ambient flash. Apple iPhone 7 Plus is capable of recording 2160p videos at 30 frames in addition to 1080p capturing at 30 and 60fps. The slow-mo videos can be recorded at 1080p at 120fps or 720p at 240fps. There is a time-lapse mode, which works quite well. The 4K videos carry a bitrate of around 47 Mbps, but audio is recorded in mono at 85 Kbps in AAC format. The 1080p videos at 30 FPS have a bitrate of 16 Mbps, keeping the same audio, while the 60 FPS ones came out with 23 Mbps bitrate. Apple's iPhone 7 Plus brings a solid hardware upgrade over its predecessor but fails to impress with substantial improvements in design or looks. Is that an issue? It depends on how you look at it. The iPhones have always had nice designs that age well, and we've already gotten well used to the extra bezels around the display. But the counter-argument that is also true, the manufacturers in similar or lower price points are pushing the envelope of what a regular smartphone can look like. In comparison, Apple doesn't seem to put much effort for such an expensive product. The future seems bright for the new iPhones and Apple has nothing to worry about. Next year is iPhone's 10th anniversary, so we are sure we'll be treated to yet another pair of competition crushing smartphones. Until then, the iPhone 7 Plus is the best iPhone yet. Time for an upgrade? <laughs>